Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The fast is broken with a call to prayer at the Crimean Tatar Islamic Center in Kiev. It opened a few years ago to cater to the growing number of Muslims in the city. But now, only a few thousand remain, and even less at the congregation. Those left behind have time to reflect and to connect over some traditional Crimean food. Rice with sauteed carrots and a generous serving of halal meat and chickpeas. The first iftar here in Kiev is uh, not a simple meal. It's, uh, a, it's a staple food for dinners and on iftar after Maghrib prayers. This is how they break their fast. At the table is Lenur Chavosh who helped start the mosque. He says the war deeply affected the Muslim community like all other Ukrainians. Of course impacted because uh, most of the families were uh, must to uh, leave the region and they go to the west to Lviv region some. And we left here to, uh, to, sur to defend and uh, to save this our property. Aider Rustamov is the prayer leader who escaped Crimea when the Russians annexed it in 2014. Russia oppresses Muslims and oppresses all around the world. This oppression, this tyranny, early or late, must end. As the Muslims of Kiev offer their final Isha prayers before they start fasting all over again, they say they stand strongly with their fellow Ukrainians to defend their country. Ali Mustafa, TRT World, Kiev.